<laughs> Hello, Gautier. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Ça va bien. Very, very good. Hi. Hi. He's his, his teammate. I will translate if he don't understand something. Oh, good. I, we have we have two translators. This is Ryan Ramsey. <laughs> uh, <he laughs> okay, okay. My my demi centre. My playmaker. <laughs> my playmaker. Uh, yeah, my yeah. Assist. I, assist. Yeah. Well, tell tell him to pass you the ball. Yeah, you gotta pass him a little bit more <laughs> because he's wide open. <laughs> no problem. No problem. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Now we are in uh, rest. We are in rest. Uh, we are in uh, recovery. And, uh, and we are waiting for the for the training. Uh huh. Oh, you have training today? Yeah, yeah. We have uh, one training before the game uh, tomorrow. Okay, good. I mean, you, we we are enjoying watching you guys. We just Ryan and I, we were just talking. I mean, you guys probably all of you play somewhere in France. Yeah. What what uh, what division? I know Gautier, you play in fourth division, right? Yeah, fourth division, yes. Four. You two, both of you? No, in the second division. You're in second division, okay. That's yeah. good. That's Where do you play? Quel équipe? What team do you play? Uh, at toi? 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 Moi? Uh, moi, je joue à Dreux. Dreux. Moi, je joue à Dreux en quatrième division, en National 2. Okay. Et lui, il joue en, en D2. Second division en, in uh, Nancy. Uh, Nancy. Nancy. Okay. Well, Ryan used to, uh, to train and, and play in France as well. J'ai joué à Besançon en uh, NR il y a longtemps. Ah, good, good. <laughs> good. C'est bien ça, c'est bien, c'est cool. Oh, uh, uh, Gauthier, obviously you became a, a huge world sensation. Like uh, everywhere we look uh, online, there there's a story about you. Uh, it was so quick, and and then we started watching you play. And I think from all the the conversations we have with people, we love how you play the pivot position, and um, and that's why we wanted to to get to talk to you, uh, get to know how you started to play handball, uh, your experience in Egypt. Tell us a little bit how is handball in, in Democ uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, because this is your first time in World Championship. Uh, and also, we want to we wanna, uh, talk to you a little bit about the future, what's happening with you guys moving on, because you're getting a platform to show the world that you can play handball. Uh, yeah. you actually, yesterday was a good game. Unfortunately, you a couple Lost. of mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> but but yes, yes. it was it was close. Bahrain is not a bad team; they're a good team. Yes, it's true. It's true. So and and of course we talk a little bit about your your friend uh, Shaq Shaq Attack, who's <laughs> who's sending you uh, love from from the United States. So th uh, Gutia, thank you for coming to the show. We're not going to keep it long because Ryan has to work and I have to work and I know you guys have to go to practice. So tell us, Gutia, how did you start playing handball? Ok, euh, il veut que tu lui racontes un peu ton expérience euh, par rapport à, à la compétition, comment tu vis le truc. Euh, mais, mais, la... au, au début, au début euh, com comment tu as commencé euh, One Ball euh, Moi, au début, je faisais du foot. Au début, je faisais du foot et euh, ça pas... je devais rentrer au centre de formation, mais finalement, ça ne s'est pas conclu. Et euh, par la suite, il euh, y a des amis à moi qui m'ont ramené à faire du handball. Et j'ai mm -hmm. tout de suite euh, adhéré. So he was he was a soccer player, and he was supposed to go into like the, uh, I guess the local like training school. And when he didn't get in, his buddies brought him over to handball. Oh, oh nice! So what what en France? Soccer? En France? Ouais. Et que, quelle ah, position au, au foot? Au foot? Au début, j'ai commencé attaquant. Ensuite, je suis passé milieu. Ensuite, je suis passé défenseur. Après, j'ai arrêté. <laughs> So you started uh, striker, and then midfield, and then defense, and then stop. <laughs> well, you know, I think you made the right decision, no? Tu as pris la bonne décision. Ouais, je pense que je pense que c'est bien. So, um, so you, you were born in France, right? Oui, je suis en France. 
Okay. And you lived your whole life in France? J'ai vécu toute ma vie en France. J'ai tout, ouais, j'ai vécu toute ma vie en France. Ah, okay, okay. So, uh, how is uh, uh, handball in Congo? Like, how is it developed? Do you guys have a league? How many people play? How, how, how is the system in Congo? Quel système de football est appliqué? D'abord, qui jouait judo, qui jouait rugby. Je dirais que on a tout à développer, on a tout à développer, mais on se développe petit à petit parce que je sais que le handball en 2010, il est en pleine il est en plein développement. Là, on est en 2020, euh, on va dire, on, on se développe petit à petit. Et euh, je sais que les conditions ne sont pas optimales au, au pays, mais on espère que les choses évolueront euh, dans le bon sens. So, he said um, that, uh, 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 yes, he said that uh, uh, at the beginning, uh, when we came in national team, the handball was not uh, developed. And uh, we know that now the, it's uh, growing up. Uh, people are interesting, and the federation do uh, the good thing to to create um, a good atmosphere around the this sport. And um, so, sorry, but are most of the players from from live and play in France? La, la majorité des joueurs sont en France. Yeah, yes. Uh, double citoyenneté. Yeah, the the nationality. Oh, uh, same, same like you, United States. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah ninety percent is uh, uh, of players are double citizens. Well, you know, I I think the the whole tournament of IHF having thirty two uh, uh, countries come to a world championship is a very good thing, because by you guiding this opportunity by USA almost getting that opportunity it just brings to life the the players like you guys because you do it mostly for fun because you love the sport we're not getting paid a lot of money or maybe little money but it shows the passion that you guys play with so i'm happy that you guys are there and showing the world that you can play what when you came to egypt what were your predictions what were you hoping you're going to do euh, moi personnellement de ce que je pouvais euh, espérer euh, c'est que c'était notre première apparition au championnat du monde et euh, pour moi euh, je voulais qu'on livre la meilleure image possible donc de la combativité euh, de l'entraide et être vraiment ensemble donc euh, pour moi je dirais qu'en termes d'image on a rempli le contrat et euh, après Objectif, je dirais que c'était juste pour prendre du plaisir. Si on pouvait passer deuxième tour, on aurait passé. Malheureusement, ça, ça ne s'est pas fait. Mais je pense que l'objet principal, c'était vraiment de montrer une belle image. He said that uh, the first thing is to show a good image of uh, our team because it's the first uh, appear, appearance here and. Uh, uh, The, the goal was also to be to go to the main round, but uh, we lost uh, the three games, and uh, we want to show that uh, we can stay together and be able to uh, finish this competition with the same image. Yeah, I mean, I, I think all the games you played were, I mean, the, the two games against Argentina and Bahrain were close. And, and I think uh, with a little bit more experience, and this is, this is what World Championships serve, the first one, to get that experience. And then next year it's going to be easier. Um, how, how long did you train before you got to Egypt? On a fait 10 jours de préparation. 10 days of preparation. That's it. In France? In France? Euh, on a fait en novembre, on a, en novembre, on a eu une période où on a fait euh, une semaine et euh, avant le départ, on a fait dix jours. We made uh, one uh, stage in uh, November during one week mm -hmm. and uh, just before to the, the flight, we, we work during uh, 10 days in France between us. That's good. That's, that's very good. And, and you guys are all healthy? Like nobody has issues? Est-ce qu'on est bien euh, au niveau de la santé En santé, oui. 
de la question. Euh, euh, je dirais que wow, la compétition, elle est quand même assez lourde, quand même. Donc, euh, des petits bobos, mais rien de grave. Just a few scratches, but nothing, uh, ah, that's nice. nothing major. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So next next round, you have, uh, um, it starts tomorrow, right? Who are you playing tomorrow? Yeah. Angola. Oh, okay. That's going to be a good one. Uh, yes, we hope. Yeah, you, you guys think you're going to win this one? Uh, it's complicated because we never won against them before. Mm. The last uh, victory was in uh, 2014 by two goals. Okay. And uh, since uh, this game, we lost uh, every two years against them. So it's a good opportunity, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Revenge. Time for a little revenge. <laughs> yes, yeah, revenge also. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. It's true. Um, so one, one thing about um, Gautier, right now, You probably are getting a lot of uh, attention, a lot of interest from teams, clubs. Uh, what would you do if one of the big clubs offers you a, a contract right now? Uh, moi, comme j'ai dit, hein, je vis au jour le jour. Donc, euh, s'il y a un gros contrat euh, qui se livre à moi, il euh, y a possibilité que je puisse accepter. Donc, vraiment, je vis au jour le jour et, et je, je, je verrai ce que Dieu me dira bien de faire. He said that uh, he trusts God and he lives uh, uh, day by day. He just uh, trusts uh, that uh, if some uh, good opportunity comes, he will, uh, he will check and uh, see what's going to happen. Je viens rêver. He, because now he's uh, living a dream. Well, if he keeps uh, shooting like that, a 13 out of 14, you're in a good path, man. It's, it's, uh, it's a good... Good percentage, very good percentage. Okay, pas de problème, merci. <laughs> <laughs> I think, Bini, do you want to offer him a New York contract? Is that the... Well, I mean, let, let's see. Tomorrow, if he wins against Angola, yes. You got to oh, win against okay. Angola tomorrow. Ah, New York, tough, tough contract. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, obviously, you're a big basketball fan. And, you know, when we messaged Gutierrez back and forth, Kevin Durant is your player. Now we got James Harden, and Kyrie Irving is coming back today. What the hell? What do you think? Do you think they're going to go all the way to the finals or no? Is he going to the final or not? Of course, of course. Of course, the Nets will go to the final. In the final of the conference, they will beat the Bucks. He said that they will beat the, the Bucks in the... Uh, final conference and it's uh, short. Uh, you know, the way they're playing offense-wise, it's crazy. I think they don't need to play defense. They just have they to don't. play offense. They don't. My favorite player is Kevin Durant, James Harden, LeBron James, yeah. Steph Curry. That's really... I'm a fan of the conditional during the basket. So, often, we have a lot of debates with my captain. Donc, ça, c'est vraiment cool. So they often debate on uh, who's the best NBA player. They're big uh, NBA fans. D'après uh, toi, c'est qui le meilleur joueur de... en défense uh, uh, dans, Au basket ouais. Un défenseur. Euh, un très bon défenseur, je dirais Tony Allen. Uh, he's saying that the best defenseur is defenseman in basketball is Tony Allen. Ou uh, Pat Beverly. Pat Beverly. Ah, Pat yeah, but those those guys are, are are like crazy. Like it's, I mean, Patrick Beverly is just unstoppable. I mean, I think he just keeps talking and talking all the time. <laughs> okay. uh, so, uh, Gauthier. Discount, discount. No, 10 minutes, discount. So, so. Yes. Okay. So you you got the the shout out from Shaq. Obviously, he's a legend. And I'm sure this is the first time in his life that he mentioned Team Hamble. Uh So you also got, got excitement from one of the most legendary basketball, most famous basketball player in, in the United States. How does it feel for you? Because it's a huge thing, especially in the United States, for someone like Shaq 
to give any shout outs to. So it's, it's, a, it's a huge deal. Are you staying in touch with him? Tu prends conscience de ce, que, ce qui se passe parce que chaque c'est le seul mec euh, qui parle de handball aux États-Unis. C'est quelque chose d'incroyable parce que tu as une bonne relation avec lui. Euh, ouais, j'ai une bonne relation avec lui. Euh, on a beaucoup rigolé, on a beaucoup ri. Et, euh, mais vraiment, c'est incroyable. On parle de, de Shaquille O'Neal. The legend. <rire> So, so yeah, he was really, really impressed, really happy to, to get the shout out. Vous êtes resté en contact? Oui. Oui? On est en contact, oui. Oh, yeah, so yeah, he's still in contact with him. Oh, good, good. Because, you know, um, many years ago, we used to organize this big international tournament called Big Apple. And we had all the, the superstars come and play in New York City, like Pascal Hans and Lovgren and Vistlander and everyone. So, Jackson. Jackson Richardson, too. So uh, Pascal Hens was a big fan, is a big fan of Shaq. And he went to watch a game. And we know Pascal Hens is very, very tall. So he met with Shaquille. And he looked like tiny. Like Pascal Hens against uh, Shaq. He was like a tiny little. So he went there behind the stage and he signed him a, a, a shirt. You guys, I mean, obviously now it would be great when you, when you decide to come to the U.S., uh, To give him a, a shout out and call and and see how small you look uh, next to him. Sorry, we don't uh, understand. Uh, we don't understand what she said at the, at the end. Translate. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, Binia explained the story of the tournament we qu'on in New York, the Big Apple, with all the vedettes. There was Pascal Lenz who encountered Shaq, who had the exchange of maillots. Then Pascal Lenz. Uh, avait l'air tout petit comparé à chaque. Ouais. Et euh, maintenant, on pense que peut-être que tu devrais faire la même chose, venir aux États-Unis, rencontrer chaque, lui, lui euh, donner un maillot euh, du Congo. Ben moi, j'aimerais bien pouvoir lui donner mon maillot et que je, moi, je prenne son maillot. Et, euh, <rire> ah, ce serait, ce serait énorme. Ce serait énorme. He's, he's up for it, Bini. He wants to do the, uh, the je suis trop intéressé. exchange. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to make it happen. Super intéressé. Moi, j'adorerais venir aux États-Unis. J'adorerais. <laughs> yeah, He'd love to come to the U.S. Yeah, well, you Parce know what? C'est incroyable. Uh, obviously, uh, now, now that we know each other uh, more than just reading about you, I think uh, we, we should stay in touch with both of you and, uh, and see what opportunities will come out in, in the future for all of us. I think it would be exciting to... to uh, You keep watching you play because you are very young. You're still only 26 years old. So I think everybody in the U.S. who got to know you as a great story will want to see how you continue wherever you are. So I think it's important we stay in touch. And I think it's important you stay in touch and show people how you continue with your career. Il n'y a pas de problème. Avec vraiment plaisir. Yeah. So, guys, uh, I know we're not going to take too much of your time. Um, it's been great talking to you guys. It's been great uh, watching you. And, and trust me, you have a lot of supporters now for DR of Congo in the United States. Huge, huge number of people of are cheering. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Et merci pour de pouvoir euh, m'offrir ce genre d'opportunité. Ça fait vraiment plaisir de voir qu'il y a beaucoup de soutien, beaucoup d'engouement. Ça fait vraiment plaisir. On reste en contact, en tout cas. He's thanking for the opportunity. Oui, vraiment heureux de, de vous rencontrer. Et hein. n'hésitez pas. N'hésitez pas de, à pouvoir revenir vers moi. Ce sera avec plaisir. Keep in touch, he says. Come. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and keep up with a great shooting. And we're, we're just, we want you to go almost 100% all, all for the next four or five games. <laughs> Garde ton pourcentage d'efficacité pour les trois euh, <laughs> derniers matchs. Je suis proche de 100%. Ok, ça marche. Merci. Hey, and you, were ma ma you were man of the match when you lost the game. Hein? <laughs> man, man of the match, uh, perdant. Ouais, c'est incroyable. C'est impressionnant. C'est incroyable. incroyable. And, and also, like, uh, the, the playmaker, watch his hand. He's always showing his hand there. Like, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem. I don't forget. I don't forget. Perfect, perfect. Okay, guys, have a great day. Thank you for, for joining Straight Thank Hand you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Bye -bye. Good luck.
ביי. ביי.